What is up, YouTube? Bunny Films here with a brand new video, and today we are back in Farming and Friends with a brand new video. Today we will be talking about automatic barns, and we'll be showing you the different barns you can buy, how they work, and what they look like when we actually have cows in the barn. But before we do begin today's video, I hope you all do or did have a good Thanksgiving if you do celebrate it in the United States. I know I had a good one. We had a nice dinner. Kudos to my family, whoever's watching this. It was a good dinner. I like the turkey um, and mashed potatoes and bread rolls and all that. Um, but yeah, so I hope you all had a good Thanksgiving. And also, thank you so much for all of the support on my latest Farming and Friends video. It got over 10,000 views in just like two days, which is insane for my channel. So I really do appreciate it. And all those new subscribers that subscribed from that video, well, Welcome to the channel. And also, I went ahead and I posted a poll. I'm going to close the chat just for a bit so there's fewer distractions. Uh, I did post a poll on my YouTube channel and I got over 1,000 votes. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. And that is actually what decided the video would be, or yeah, that's what decided today's video's topic, which is automatic barns. So I will be covering cake, sheep and wool, and then the new milk types along with the game pass in upcoming videos. But everyone voted for automatic barns, which is what we are going to do. So before we actually put the automatic barns to use, let's go ahead and talk about the two different automatic barns that you can buy. So the first one to my, well, I don't know if this is to my right or to the left, like in real life, it's to my left, but in game, it's to my right. So I guess it's really insignificant at that point. However, this barn here is the Craftsman Barn. It is 50,000 coins in game. It comes with a total of eight stalls, which is still quite a lot. In my opinion, this is the best looking barn that you can buy in the game. It has a nice metallic roof, which is slightly difficult to see because it is nighttime. However, it is a uh, very sleek and modern design compared to some of the other barns in the game. Yet the other barns are still amazing as well. And over here we have the, let's go ahead and look at it really quickly. This is the wooden barn. So this barn here is 64,000 coins. So it's 14,000 more coins than the uh, craftsman barn. That does give you a total of 12 animal stalls, which is four more than the craftsman barn. Also, it does take up less space if you do actually compare them. This one's a longer building, though this one is slightly wider because of this little um, covered area over here. I believe it does have a like smaller area in general, but I don't exactly know if that is true or not. And there are also non-automatic versions of this barn as well, both of them. So we have this automatic one here, and then we have the non-automatic, the older one right over here. And if we actually compare the price, here we can see the automatic one that I have is 64,000 coins. But if we go up, I believe, to look at the other wooden barn, it is only 32,000 coins. So that's double the price just for the automatic feature of the barn, which we're going to put to the test and figure out if it's actually worth the extra 32,000 coins or not. So now that we've discussed the two different automatic barns that you can buy in Farming and Friends, let's go ahead and talk about what makes them so automatic. So the only feature that this barn has over other non-automatic barns is that you can automatically, like, not necessarily harvest the milk but the milk is automatically dropped right here instead of having to pick up the jugs and deposit them into the liquid truck right over here so i'll give you a brief demonstration before we actually do uh bring some cows in also these ones are hungry for some let's see maybe they need some food before we actually do oh, they have... i'm gonna animals are so bugged in this game right now like i lost all my chickens the cows are hungry yet they shouldn't be uh, we're just going to get them a feeder in this little area because they somehow wandered here. Also, this one's one star, which is slightly concerning. So right now, tons of bugs in the game. I mean, I understand developers are working on them, so we might encounter some as we go through the video, but they should be patched eventually. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into our medium liquid truck. There are different variations of liquid vehicles to transport milk and such, such as trailers. And then I believe... There might be another one. I don't know, but there's lots of choices you have. But we're going to go ahead. And I'll show you what this looks like. Essentially, you'll just park this truck right here like so. And then when you press the harvest button on the cows. The milk is automatically like the jugs are dropped into this truck right here. And you don't necessarily have to have the truck either. If it's not there, it's not parked there. The milk will just drop on the ground, similar to like the chocolate milk factory, the um, maybe the food factory or the yeah the animal food factory i don't know for certain though 
let's go ahead enough talking we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get some cows into this barn and make it like a we're gonna we're gonna test it out we're gonna show you what an automatic barn looks like but first let's go ahead i know there's a lot of people talking to me in the chat it's slightly overwhelming but i do respond to them whenever i do pause the video just in case anyone's wondering we're gonna sell the craftsman barn right here for 10,000 coins just because i prefer this one and the sun is rising so we can finally see what it looks like but let's go ahead um Oh uh, gosh, let's see. Yeah, I, I have seven cows, two sheep, zero chickens. I used to have, I think, maybe four or something. But we're going to sell this barn right here, like so, for 6,400 coins and a lot. Look at all these cows. I have so many. Wow. So I've gone ahead and deleted my old barn that is not automatic. And we're going to go ahead and we'll replace that with this barn. And we'll have to move it over here. But first, we are going to go ahead and we're going to clear out some of the like animal feeders and such that are going to potentially block the way. Also, there is no multi-select, which is one of my big gripes about the game. I can't like select multiple things at once. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to delete all the hedges because right now they really don't do anything there's no chickens to separate from the barn which was really their only point um which is sad but oh well so let's go ahead we're going to delete this uh, i guess i'll i can delete the feeders i mean right i have five million coins the developers did reimburse me for the lost money from a bug uh but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna sell i think that's enough and I'll, i don't know if i should move this or not because i don't know if it'll like glitch out the wool or something who knows uh, but let's go ahead and we're going to go back to build. We're going to go to edit. We're going to click this, move it. And I guess I can go ahead and I can put like the milk deposit area slightly over here like so. Maybe that'll work. Maybe I can go against the fence. I Oh, not... oh gosh. This is it's going to be slightly complicated. Yeah, complicated because I don't the collisions in this game are a bit like iffy, I'd say. Like I mean this should be good, but at the same time, it's not giving me the color indicating work. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to uh, like fidget around with this a bit and see what I can do to get this to work. So because it's not really going to work in this animal pen I currently have, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to see if I can place this barn here and get a fence wrapped around it. If that even works, I don't know if it will. We're just going to go with a wooden fence for now. I'm not really going for too many looks. Uh, I guess just functionality functionality at this point. But even this, I don't think it's going to work. Cause it's already red. And yeah, it's not going to work. Okay. New plan. Uh, Let's see. Wooden fence. Gosh, everyone's trying to run me over. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. We're going to try and get this. Let's see, we can try it maybe here, I guess. Confirm start position. And that works. Okay. I mean, it's red now, but justified. Let's see if we can get it. If I... This would be like the ideal layout, but at the same time, it doesn't work like that. And that doesn't work either. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do because it's very frustrating, I guess. I, I don't know why it won't fit. <laughs> okay, so that's not working. I'm also, I just forgot that I don't have the music playing in the game. So let's go ahead and get that roll in. There we go. We got the farmer music. Hopefully it's not too loud, uh, but we can also, so what, actually no. So what my plan is, is I'm going to transport all of these animals from that pen there into this pen, which is smaller and it's just temporary. That way I can delete this one and hopefully get the barn down in this area because this is plenty of space. It's just I'm not certain if it's going to work or not. Let's go ahead. We're going to grab this. And also I am trying to pet the cows so I can get their rating up just a bit so I'm not given like bad milk or something. That's what they can do. I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to put one feeder in there. I think that should work for now. And now what we're going to do is let's press exit build mode we're gonna open this fence or gate excuse me the big difference and let's go ahead this person just doing that i guess I don't know what let's open this hopefully we don't lose any animals i mean that would be ideal let's see one two three four five move animals move herd here okay actually oh bang works yay okay maybe it does i'm not gonna get my hopes up just yet now let's go ahead. We are going to... I guess I can't really hurt the dog. One, two, five. Okay, yeah, they're, they're actually moving. See, I appreciate when the animals cooperate. Yeah, look at that. They're actually doing what I'm telling them to do. <laughs> okay, so I'm a bit hopeful now that we can actually go ahead and get this uh, built out. I'm going to move this uh, sheep spindle thing out of the way for the moment. I'm going to move almost everything out of the way, to be honest, just so I can figure out where this will actually fit. Um... 
This I'm just gonna sell because I don't really mind losing the money at this point. Because, I mean, I... Yeah. So, okay, the dog... We're gonna pet the dog really quickly. I don't know what stars for the dog to, but it's adorable. Oh, yeah. Where's the... Okay, so the... Why is this person running me over? Come on. So I have the barn inside of the fence. It's a very tight fit, I will admit. Yet yeah, it works. Look at that. But first off, we're going to like see where it will fit and where it won't. Also, it's so annoying how players can collide with it. Because I'm probably going to have to end up blacklisting everyone. Just so I can get this place down, which is a bit inconvenient. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get this place down and then I'll meet you guys back here once it's done. Okay, good news. Barn is down. It is staying here. I know it's it's not the best location necessarily. However, it works. And I can go ahead and I can build some chicken coops over here later on, separate them, etc. And in general, that will work out. So let's go ahead. What we're going to do now is while I actually have the animals out, I'm going to quickly sell all of these hedges and replace them with a fence. That way I can separate the chickens once they are fixed, because right now if you buy chickens, they just escape, which is what happened to all of mine. We're also gonna go ahead, we're gonna install two sliding gates like so, one there, and I guess one right here. It's not perfectly lined up with the barn, but it works. Yeah, that's good enough. And then let's go ahead, we are going to go to fences. I wonder if this will work, I don't know exactly. Confirm start. Not gonna work. Okay. Uh, let's try this instead. If I do a wooden fence, I think they added this feature in the game where you can do it like this. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe they didn't. Okay, I don't know. I, I I'm not gonna mess with it at this point. It does. It's too, it's insignificant. But now what we can do is we can open the fence or the gates. Excuse me. Back up. And get the animals inside of this pen, and then. We can do the milking, and then we can show you how the automatic barn actually works. So let's go ahead. Oh, actually, wait a second. I forgot to close the gate, but they're all still in there, which is nice, I guess. The so three, four, come on. Which ones can I click? Which ones can I not? Okay, there we go. We got five. Let's move them into here. I'm not going to put them in the barn yet, because, I mean, I don't think I can really do that with sheep. Um, and let's go ahead and click these four animals as well. Luckily, I only had a total of nine, so that means I didn't lose any. So, uh, move into here. There we go. And now, we have to get some animal feed containers down because I did delete all of them. But at the same time, I don't really mind um, having to pay that extra money just because I could have saved them instead. Okay, so we're making progress. And as the animal... Oh, okay, they were walking back and then I think they just got distracted or something. Okay, we're just gonna press move on these two. This one I think is not wanting to be herded for some reason. I don't know. Come on. Ah, uh, he's gonna... Uh, so annoying, it's... Uh, doesn't want to respond. Now, unless it's walking back, but I highly doubt it is. I don't know, I'm... I'm it, it's a bit frustrating to say at least some of the things in this game. Uh, cows, can you please, do, like, walk? <laughs> the struggle. Maybe move into the bar. Are you going this way? You can go this way. I, I give up at this point. Okay. So what we're doing instead, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get our... Excuse me. <laughs> we're going to get the liquid truck and we're going to go ahead. We're going to park it by the uh, little dropper where we can go ahead and load up the milk into here and show you how it works. It's pretty simple and easy, except for the fact that managing the cows is apparently not very easy. Also, I'm still trying to get used to the new driving system. Uh, it's... Not exactly my favorite, but at the same time, it's apparently more realistic, which I guess works in a sense. Just got to get used to it. Uh, but let's go ahead. We're going to back into here like so. Uh, there we go. And as long as your truck is relatively in the square, doesn't have to have the entire truck in there. It should work. Also, I'm still concerned about these other cows that are just wandering off. But while they just walk around and do whatever, we're going to go ahead. We're going to round up a total of five cows. One, two, three, four. Where's a fifth? Uh, I'm just going to do four because that one's going to give us sour milk if we actually go ahead and milk it. So we're going to move them into the... Oh, no. Wait. One of them is hungry. Maybe not anymore. I can move this one into the barn. Okay. So we'll get five into the barn, I guess, for now. Because the other ones are just probably going to disappear at some point. I don't know where they are. It's so sad. Okay. So there they are. Excuse me? <laughs> I herded five cows, but there's only three in here. 
Um, okay, I guess. Maybe they just don't want to listen. But they're all in here, I think. So we're going to close this gate. And then we can go ahead and milk them and see the milk appear in here. I wonder what milk we will get, because there's apparently free-range milk now. No idea what that is. Uh, we're going to go ahead, we're going to press milk. Why are they making sour milk? So... That's so upsetting. Uh, but, I mean... It works? <laughs> we have sour milk in our truck now? <laughs> so now I need to figure out what the heck I can do with this. Uh, it's, it's a bit frustrating to say the least. I mean, I, like, the ratings go down so quickly, you can't really pet them that often. So, it's just, it's a lot of things you have to keep in mind if you actually want to get decently produced milk. Like, does... Because you have sour milk, I think this is still milk, regular milk, and then you have free-range milk, which is, like, which is like the best milk. Uh, I know my cows are only two stars, but I can't pet them again. So maybe if I rejoin, I can, or I just have to wait. So who knows? Uh, but that d is basically it for the automatic barn. That is how it works, and it's not that, like, fancy. I would still go with the cheaper barn if I had to. Uh, but it's still a nice feature where you can automatically load the milk into a trailer. And then with the milk, you can either sell it, you can make it into a keg, you can make it into hot chocolate. Or not hot chocolate. Uh, what is it? The Cocoa Factory. Yeah, it is chocolate milk. Yeah, not hot chocolate. Uh, but yeah, so it's still a cool thing to check out. Um, definitely worth using if you want to go for efficiency. Uh, but at the same time, I hope something is done about... Why are they in here now? They're still making sour milk. I'm not even going to bother milking them because I don't want their milk. Oh, well. So, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, consider pressing the like button or subscribing because we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers, which is pretty insane. We are almost there, less than 15,000 away. Also, um, if you do want to be in a video, join my uh, Roblox profile and announce when I am recording in my Discord server, which has a link to the invite in the description below. Also, boosters and, disc and channel members get a shout out every single video, so let's give them their owed shout out. So, Shout out squad to Bubba1025, Finbar, I'm Billy, King Ryan, Luxembourg Lover, Nizab, Perpar, Pro Gamer Doggo, Sir Spooky, Syrup, Smart T16, Spencer H, Wall203, WSL Plays, Damon McMahon, and VISS. Also, if you do want to earn some extra money in Farming and Friends, you can use code BUNNYFILMS in the game to get yourself some extra cash. And if you think the code is expired, chances are it is not. You just typed it in incorrectly. The B and the F do have to be capitalized. That is it, everyone. I hope you have a good day, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.